I, you guys can hear me okay? I'm not speaking too loud. No, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Well, um, thank you. Um, my name is Melanie Patnod, and I'm a graduate student in the Kinesiology and Sports Studies Department. And again, I am a lot more comfortable knowing that Dr. Willardson's here because they told me that he was on the committee, and I was like, oh, I know somebody. So that's awesome. And what's really ironic about this whole experience is, yes, I knew there was going to be a speaking part because that's exactly what this is for. It's for commencement. But having this opportunity and getting this far, I'm really kind of speechless because I didn't expect to be standing in this room. Um, I took a psychology class in this room in 2004 when I was an undergrad. So a lot of things have changed, but um, Eastern really is home and it feels um, really comfortable coming back. So even though I'm not necessarily a speaker, um, this process has been really easy because it's my story. It's what happened to me and it's easy to share. And another ironic thing is it's hard to discuss it with my husband because I didn't know him at the time, but repeating it to people here at Eastern at home, it's very therapeutic. So having that opportunity to share in this turning point is awesome. And I just wanted to say thank you to the graduate school and the committee for allowing me to get here. So um, I truly feel that we are all called to do something. We're all called to go to college or go into the military or be a stay-at-home mom like mine or something like that. And along with that comes perspective and priorities. And I align mine just like a lot of people. I, I saw my future. I um, had asked others what I thought I could do or what I should do, but it really had to come from me. And I came from a small town, just 30 minutes south of here. And I came here because my brother came here. My dad was a police officer here. And so I just went to undergrad. And then the easiest thing was to go and finish in graduate school. I was already working in the rec center. And I had accepted a graduate assistantship pretty much my sophomore year with Mr. Baker. So everything was kind of falling into place. Everything aligned for me. I was ready. And then I started my summer internship my senior year at the Mattoon YMCA, and I came home one Friday, and my dad passed away in my arms. And um, things completely changed. I had a hiccup, but more than that, I had a tragedy right in front of my face, and I had choices. And I could go home and figure it out and you know put things off later, or I could do what my dad wanted me to do and go, go, go and finish. Uh, so my plan, just like I explained, was to do a thesis. It was this big project that I thought I could do. And then I realized that I had this epiphany one, like six years later, this is past summer, that even though I hadn't finished the thesis, I could still finish graduate school. That obstacle was something that I wasn't ready for, that it was such a big thing, I just kept finding things that got in my way or a reason not to do it. And so I went to Dr. Owen when I had not got a job and I went into the student affairs department and I was like, I'm just gonna get more education. This is, this is home, this is comfortable for me. Um, I wanna be in student affairs with Campus Rec, so why not do it? And when I went to Dr. Owen, she told me, well, you'll have to make up the credits. Well, I'd already taken all the thesis hours. I was already taking classes for another degree. I was getting ready to pay off my student loans, and I just got really nervous that I didn't think I could handle one more class or two more classes or three more classes, whatever it took. But then when I was just sitting at home and I wasn't thinking about it at all, it was in the back of my mind, nowhere near where it had been three years earlier, in an unplanned moment, another ironic moment, I figured it out that all I needed to do was to ask some more questions and no matter what it took, I was going to finish my degree. I didn't have to find merit in a thesis, but I could still honor my dad and finish at Eastern as an alumna again because I had my undergraduate degree and I really 
ultimately wanted to have that degree in my master's program also. So even six years later, my dad is still inspiring me to keep going. And um, even though I knew that the process of getting back to graduate school wasn't going to be easy, um, I knew that I had to exhaust every opportunity and I had to try. Just like I had to try for this speaking position. I had gotten the email from the graduate school. I would also got an email from Dr. Carlson, who didn't even know me. I was just in this first class. And he said, I think you'd be great for it. And I thought, I have to try. In the back of my mind, my dad's always saying, go, go, go. So why not? If I didn't get this far, then that's OK. But I would not wonder what if. I've learned that after losing him that I'm not going to live with the what if. I'm going to just do what I can with what I can. I have control over that. So I um, got my power back after all these years. And like I said, I'm not a speaker, but this is just really easy to do because this is me. This is exactly who I am. This is where I came from. And so, you know, I finished that conversation with Dr. Owen back in August, and within a few days, I was back in graduate school. I was back in the kinesiology department. I had one more class. I have comps that I am super excited to do, and then I will have my degree. So it's been an overwhelming blessing to be back at Eastern, and I know that I'm proud of myself, and I know my dad's still proud of me. So um, I know I wouldn't be standing here without that opportunity. So with one word, I can describe this whole experience from beginning to end, and it's faith. I have faith in the fact that I know I'm going to finish. I'm, I'm gotten this far, and I like acronyms. So from faith, the F, I get faith itself. Um, you always have to believe in something, and you have to A, act. You have to ask questions. You have to fight for what you want. You have to go for it. Um, the I is inspire. You have to use your story like I use mine from my dad to inspire others. And I encourage people to go and visit the University to Police Department and look at that bench and see where my inspiration comes from. Because I, even though I, I don't get to come back very often, I go in there every opportunity and I see his face. And on his face is my face, so I just have to look in the mirror. Um, the T is teach because every moment is a teachable moment. Whether you make a mistake or whatever, you can still learn from your whole experience. The H is home, um, like Eastern, the support of others, my family, uh, the kinesiology department, um, the whole graduate school being here. And it all ties in together because the class experiences, the experiences at my internship, um, this experience, has taught me a lot. Um, it's inspired me. I have a lot of new mentors. Um, and it's all because someone acted. Someone sent me that email. And it was just that easy to just answer and reply and, and just start writing. And somebody made an impression on me. And I hope that I can make an impression on somebody else. So uh, because somebody believed in me, that is why I'm here. And you know, I, I believe in this university, I believe in the programs, and I believe that having my dad's legacy here has inspired me. So not to be redundant from the title, but this has been EI unbelievable. It's been an absolute privilege to be able to share my story with everybody and to be here again. So thank you.